Hey, hi there, folks. Uh, want to talk a little bit about the uh, Building Blocks plugin and how to use that. And uh, also, towards the end of the tutorial, I'm going to show you uh, how I made this particular uh, building using that plug. All right, so let's get started. Um, so the Building Blocks uses uh, 3D blocks that are included in iClone. And so you say, well, I could do this myself. Uh, and that's true, you can. If you go to uh, Props here, you find the 3D blocks, and you go to Wall and Floor, and you can load in a floor, and then you can load in a wall. Okay, let's say we're going to build a very specific uh, thing here that's going to have a door and a window on the front. Okay, so the first thing you notice is the floor and the wall aren't scaled correctly, or the same. So let's say, okay, we're going to move this out towards the front. Um, now in the back, we want to have, let's say, just uh, a door. Okay, so we can move that to the back. Whoops. Move that to the back. And now on this side, we're going to have a wall, solid wall. Okay, so now what? We got to rotate that around uh, Z, and now I got to move that out. Well, that's not the right size either. Okay, and then on this side, we're going to put two windows. So again, rotate uh, 90 degrees, move that out. Uh, can't even see the floor. So let's get the floor. Now we got to scale that. Uh, your scale. Um, I don't know, that's kind of close. Uh, now I gotta move the walls around. Move. Okay. Now let's take a look at this wall. Okay, so if we scale that wall, then the floor is the wrong link there, so then we'd have to. Now let's say we're going to scale this down. So we scale this. Well, now what happens is it shrinks the windows, right? So um, you can, I mean, I could build the whole room, but it takes forever and it's going to look uh, lousy. So <laughs> just going to close all this stuff up, delete it, and to load in the, um, the uh, G Tools Building Blocks plugin. Okay, so we had a door and a window in the front. Uh, the back wall was a door. The left wall was solid and the right wall was two windows, right? Windows. Uh, hey, and we can add a front door for a good measure. So you build. And it's done. It also has a roof. And it's a lot uh, more precise than I would have done it, and a lot faster. And uh, the nice thing is, if you want to, um, say, build this into a bigger house, you could, uh, let's make the front of the second part, just some windows here. Uh, we'll take off the door. Um, we'll make this solid. And... Um, Let's make them all solid. Okay, we're going to offset X by 1. Uh, that's going to move it uh, the opposite direction of the red arrow. That's the X axis. So now we say build. And it builds another room that looks just like the last one, except for it has the walls that we put in there right where we want them. And it's lined up exactly uh, with the previous. Um, block. So now we can go back to um, go back to zero there and offset the Y by one. So positive direction goes towards the green arrow. Negative will go this way. And we'll just build the uh, same exact thing.
Okay, so you can see how easy you could just put together um, a larger structure. Um, you know, it doesn't have to be a square. You can have L shape or you can have a skyscraper, whatever you want. Um, so one thing I want to um, I want to show you here is is uh, to put in a roof on. So the roof right now says it's going to build a one block by one block roof, um, and that's going to be centered over the the initial block at uh, at the zero zero location. So all we do is hit build. If it says standard block, it's going to build it to the standard block size. You don't have to worry about the size. OK, so first it builds the, uh, the roof support. Then it builds the actual um, panels with a little bit of overhang, right? And uh, let's get rid of these, um, these second and third. Now you can see, if I show the labels here, it labels each section uh, with the X, Y, and uh, Z. Z would be the, the floor, so first floor. So all the ones that say zero, 00 are all part of the same room. Zero, 00, first floor. Then when I built the second block, it's at minus one, zero. So all these segments are in the minus one, zero block, first floor. And then these would be the zero, positive one, first floor block. So I'm going to get rid of everything that wasn't at the zero, 00. And you can see how nicely that roof fits on there. Now each um, part of this is an individual uh, prop that can be, um, any kind of material can be added to it. So you could make this wall one color and this wall a different color and the door a different color and the roof a different color, right? So it's real easy to, to decorate it the way you want it. Now another thing, um, that I've done here is uh, it says custom window but if you just leave it at the default and you click on build it's going to put it's going to put that window right in that little uh, zero zero front floor you'll see here in a minute as soon as all these messages get out of the way and there it is right it's put a little and it says grid two by two so it's two uh, two horizontal by two vertical right um, if you don't want the grid in the middle, you can put this down to 1-1 one, one and it just builds a square window. Or if you put 1-2, it'll put a vertical divider. If you put 2-1, it puts a horizontal divider. And you can have 3-3, three 4-4, by three, four by four, whatever you want. Um, you can also make the grid dark if you want a dark frame, like a dark aluminum frame or something. All right, uh, the customer room. Um, basically, you can, you can make it any size you want, but the walls are all going to be solid. And the reason for that is, is, as we saw earlier when we loaded in the props, if you scale the door or the window, um, it just gets ugly because um, the door becomes real wide or, you know, the windows become narrow. Um, so I kind of leave these uh, in, a, in a state where they are uh, proportionate to the avatars and stuff like that. All right. Okay, one thing I do want to mention, um, if you're going to be moving these things around, you really want to uh, take all the subcomponents and attach to something. I usually attach it to the floor. Okay, now when you move the floor around, oops, I didn't pick the floor. <laughs> so I got to undo, pick the floor, there. Now when I move the floor around, right, it moves all the elements. If you don't attach and you start moving things around, then uh, you lose all the connection to each other. So, Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to build that little uh, restaurant I showed you at the beginning. Um, we'll start with a custom room. And uh, let's see, we'll make it uh, 500 long by 300 deep. And maybe we'll make it uh, 350 uh, tall. So we say build. All right, so it's building that. Now, um, each part is accessible independently. So let's. Uh, what we want to do is get rid of the front wall. So we'll delete that. We want to get rid of this red wall, which is conveniently labeled red. 
Okay, and now we're going to build another customer room in the exact same location, but we're going to make the height, uh, let's say, 125. I just have to remember when I go to build the window what I picked here. <laughs> so we'll build that. So it's going to build right on top of the other uh, location. And now what I want to do is I want to get rid of the other material from the second part. So get rid of the, that ceiling. I'm going to get rid of the uh, back wall of the lower wall and the back wall of the green wall. And also I have two floors. I might as well get rid of one of those floors. Okay. So now we want to add uh, windows to this thing. So... Um, the height of the original wall was uh, 350, and the second wall was 125. So, so we subtract that, we get, um, oh, now I have to do math. Let's see, uh, 225. All right, so let's make, oh, not that. Uh, we want to make the window 225. Okay, so the window height is going to be 225, and the width is going to be uh, our original length here. So width is here. That was 500. Now, if you want the window to go all the way from the edge, that's 500. But because this wall width is about uh, roughly 20, we're going to make the window a little bit uh, less than 500. Let's say 480. Okay, and we don't want any horizontal grids, but we're going to put, uh, yeah, we'll do five uh, vertical grids, and we'll make it dark just for something different. We'll build the window. Okay, it puts in the pane of glass first, and then it starts building the frame around that. Okay, so here's where you're really going to want to attach uh, all the frames to the window pane. And then select the window pane when you try to start moving things around. So we'll move that over here, right about there, move it up. Uh, well, it looks like my math was off. <laughs> okay. Um, well, nobody looked at the top of the window anyhow, but uh, I'll, I'll go back and figure out what I did wrong. Um, so now we want to build the side window. That's uh, 300 uh, instead of 500. So again, we'll subtract 20. We'll make that 280. I'll just leave the height the same so it's the same as this window here. Uh, let's do three grids instead of five. Okay, now it always builds a window in the same location. Um, so you have to move, after you build the window, you have to move it to where you want it. So we're gonna take, uh, we're gonna take those and attach them to that window pane. I'm gonna select that pane, move it over here. We gotta rotate that 90 degrees. And then uh, move it into position. Something like that. Okay. Now you, you can go in and tweak the, the position t to be more exact, but for this purpose, it's fine. Um, now we're going to build a roof. And since we have a custom room defined, we'll just click on custom room. The height is not the height from zero. The height is the height from the top of the roof. I mean, from the ceiling to the peak of the roof, right? So that's going to be 120. Um, actually, that would that would be more peak than the picture I showed. So let's make this, um, I don't know, 30. We're going to build the roof. It's going to build it to these dimensions and put it right on top of this. Oh, 
So remember, we built the uh, we built the first wall, and then we built the second one, which was only at a z height of 125 instead of um, 350. So we could uh, we could gather these together and lift them all up, but let's um, let's just delete those. Whoops. Change this back to 350. Okay, and then build. And there we go. Now, because we made the windows a little bit too tall, the windows are actually sticking through the roof. So we can grab those three things and just pull it up a nudge. All right, and uh, there you have the... Um, a little cafe or fast food place. Um, I have the uh, smart gallery open on my other screen. I'm just going to grab over some materials here. This is a brick material from the iClone 7, uh, materials included with iClone 7. Uh, for the back, I used a, uh, a tile. Let's see if I can find that. I think everything was out of the iClone materials. Here's a tile. Okay, and then you got to play around with the, the scaling on the material. Um, you know, well, maybe a five or something. Yeah, it's close. Okay, and then let me pick the blue wall. I might have to go. There we go. Again, with the scaling, five, go back and see. So that's actually not enough compared to the previous scaling we did, maybe six, mm, close. All right, and then for the roof, um, I just pick something like a, a concrete spatter or something and I put that on the roof, right? And uh, again, the tiling probably needs to Go up a little, and then I put some. I put a, a bar in there, and some tables, and a door, and a menu, and stuff like that. But uh, you get the idea. It's it's pretty easy to to build a structure, decorate it the way you want, and um, that's what building blocks is all about. So, hope you enjoy using it, and uh, thanks for watching.